There are two methods of dividing the abdominopelvic cavity into smaller areas in order to more easily describe the location of the internal organs contained within this space. The first method involves dividing the cavity into nine regions by arranging two horizontal and two vertical lines together into a tic-tac-toe grid. This nine-region method is commonly used for anatomical studies in order to describe organ location in more specific detail. The top horizontal line is the subcostal line. This is drawn just inferior to the rib cage. Subcostal means under the ribs. The bottom horizontal line is the transtubercular line and is drawn just inferior to the tops of the hip bones. The two vertical lines, called midclavicular lines, are drawn through the midpoints of the clavicles, also called the collarbones. The names of the nine regions and their contents are the right hypochondriac region, this means below the cartilage, a reference to the rib cartilage. This region contains the gallbladder and parts of the right kidney and liver. The epigastric region. This means above the belly. It's located at the top of the middle column, which contains the duodenum and parts of the liver, stomach, and pancreas. And the left hypochondriac region which contains the spleen and parts of the stomach, the left kidney, and large intestine. The right lumbar region, which contains parts of the large intestine, small intestine, and right kidney. The umbilical region, located in the center square of the grid, which contains parts of both the transverse colon and the small intestine the left lumbar region, which contains parts of the large intestine, small intestine, and left kidney. The right inguinal, or iliac region. The iliac is the largest part of the hip bone. This region contains the bottom of the cecum of the colon, the appendix, and part of the small intestine. The hypogastric region, meaning below the belly, located at the bottom of the middle column, which contains the urinary bladder, sigmoid colon, and part of the small intestine. And the left inguinal, or iliac region, which contains parts of both the large and small intestine. The second method is called the quadrant method, and is the simpler of the two. It just divides the abdominopelvic cavity into four quadrants, or squares. In this method, a mid-sagittal, or median line, and a transverse, or trans-umbilical line, are drawn intersecting through the umbilicus, which is the belly button, or navel. The quadrant method is commonly used by clinicians to describe the general region of pain or the presence of an injury, tumor, or some other abnormality. The names of the four quadrants are the right upper quadrant, commonly abbreviated RUQ, the left upper quadrant, abbreviated LUQ, the right lower quadrant, abbreviated RLQ, and the left lower quadrant, abbreviated LLQ.